This video is about a positive shock in the goods market. We will start by drawing the three markets of goods market, money market, and IS, LM market. Let's start by drawing the Y axis in the goods market which is aggregate demand and the X axis which is output. Then draw the Y axis in the money market which is real interest rate and the X axis which is money demand. Then draw the Y axis in the IS, LM model which is real interest rate and the X axis which is output. In the goods market, we will draw output as upward 45 degree line and the upward aggregate demand curve. The point of intersection is the equilibrium which we will label as A. We will draw a vertical dotted line to reflect the equilibrium output in the goods market and IS, LM model. In the money market. We will draw the real money supply as a vertical line and the downward money demand. The point of intersection is the equilibrium which we will label as A. We will draw a horizontal dotted line to reflect the equilibrium real interest rate in the money market and IS, LM model. In the IS, LM model. R1 and Y1 is the equilibrium point. Which we will label as A. Then we will draw the downward IS curve and the upward LM curve to intersect at equilibrium point A. Now the three markets are at equilibrium. The goods market is at equilibrium at point A. The money market is at equilibrium at point A. The IS, LM model is at equilibrium at point A. Let's assume there is a positive shock in the goods market such as an increase in wealth. This will result in higher consumption and consequently higher aggregate demand so AD curve will shift upward and we will label it AD2. We will get a new equilibrium point which is the point of intersection between AD2 and the 45 degree line. We will label the new equilibrium as point B. We will draw a vertical dotted line to reflect the new equilibrium output which is Y2 in the goods market and IS, LM model. Since aggregate demand increased, this will shift the IS curve to the right in the IS, LM model. IS curve will shift to the right crossing point Y2 and R1. So let's label point Y2 and R1 as B1. Then shift IS curve to the right crossing point B1. Since output increased from Y1 to Y2. This will increase the money demand in the money market based on the transaction motive. In order to get R2. We need to find the intersection between Y2 and LM curve. We will label this point as B2. Then we will draw a horizontal line crossing B2 in order to get the new real interest rate in both IS, LM model and money market. We will label the point of intersection between the real money supply and R2 in the money market as point B. Money demand curve will shift upward crossing point B in the money market in order to reflect the increase in output from Y1 to Y2 based on the transaction motive. Now the goods market is at equilibrium at point B and the money market is at equilibrium at point B but the IS, LM model is not at equilibrium. The equilibrium point in the IS, LM model is the point of intersection between IS2 and LM. We will label this point as C then we will draw a dotted vertical line to reflect the new equilibrium output as Y3 in both IS, LM model and goods market. The point of intersection between Y3 and the 45 degree line in the goods market will be the new equilibrium point which we will label as point C. From the money market, the money demand curve shifted upward resulting in higher interest from R1 to R2. As interest increases, it will result in lower investment based on inverse crowding out. Consequently, aggregate demand will shift downward to AD3 crossing point C. This will result in lower output at Y3. From the IS, LM model, we will draw a dotted horizontal line crossing point C in order to reflect the new equilibrium real interest rate as R3 in both IS, LM model and money market. The point of intersection between R3 and the money supply curve in the money market will be the new equilibrium point which we will label as point C. From the goods market, the aggregate demand curve shifted downward resulting in lower output from Y2 to Y3 which will result in a decline in the money demand in the money market based on the transaction motive. Consequently, money demand curve will shift downward crossing point C. Now the three markets are at equilibrium. The goods market is at equilibrium at point C. The money market is at equilibrium at point C. The IS, LM model is at equilibrium at point C. This means that once we have a shock either positive or negative, 
in the goods market or the money market. The market will overreact in the primary market and the secondary market then will correct itself by itself over time in the opposite direction in both the primary market and the secondary market.